Friday. On Saturday, March 9th, the Netanyahu from Malawan will host a third new moon event at the Ipau Beach Amphitheater. And joining me now to talk about more about that occasion with the group is Yolanda Berdayo. Half a day. Hi, half a day. Thank you for being here. All right, very lovely to have you here. Uh, before we get into exactly what the event is, we were talking about the Netanyahu from Malawan before and how that event. Um, coinciding with the new moon was over at the UOG um, Planetarium. This yes. one being over at the Ipau Beach Amphitheater, is that in any way, is there some sort of significance to that or is it basically just that's the only place it was available? Or? Um, well, actually, um, yeah, it just every month we have it at a different location. We okay. try to move it around. And so this time we got a v free venue at the uh, Ipau Beach Amphitheater. So it's thanks to Parks and Recreation. Absolutely. And if you're trying to do something with the moon, that, of course, is a gorgeous place to take a look up at the sky. Yeah, and it is. Yeah. And kind of the, the theme is over the rainbow. So if you look at the amphitheater, you know, the shape of it is also kind of a rainbow. So it's really working out perfectly. Beautifully. So there's a lot of symbolism in there too. There is. There okay, is. well, uh, let's take a step back for just a moment. And for people that are watching right now, what is Dinanya Famalawan? Dinanya Famalawan actually means gathering of women. And so this is an organization um, that's made up of women and it's for women. And, you know, the mission statement is um, it's creating a fun, loving, and safe space. Uh, to inspire, encourage, and empower women. And so we do that in a format where uh, there might be someone who's giving a lecture, um, someone who'll do a movement piece, um, maybe a demonstration, um, and then they're singing and dancing. Um, and it'll always be on a different theme. So we'll extrapolate on that theme. And it all depends on the number of the month, so the, which has a specific meaning. So for example, this event, um, March is number three. So that's about communication. Mm -hmm. It's represented by the triangle, and it's the triage of body, mind, and spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, th the third new moon, very, very interesting. Um, how often does another new moon come about? Um, it's every month. Okay. And so the new moon, uh, basically we'll have the event closest to the new moon. It won't necessarily be on that uh, particular uh, date of the new moon. But for this month, the new moon is in Pisces. And so Pisces is a, a great time of intuition, compassion, empathy, uh, our deep uh, artistic talents kind of surface. So we'll be kind of feeling and having an awareness about these things. And it fits in perfectly for this month's theme because it's about communication and uh, specifically conscious communication, how to communicate compassionately and with empathy. I was going to say, is there some semblance of sharing in there? Because, you know, like if, if you're emphasizing empathy and yet creativity, that would imply that um, you're exchanging with like another person. So that's, exactly. that's definitely a theme. And it's, it's, it's with uh, another person, but it's also with ourselves. Oh, yeah, nice. so a lot of reflection. And yes, a lot of reflection, but then also just our ability to communicate with ourselves and others you know, in a very loving, uh, tender way. All right. So, and art, of course, is very widely defined and very multifaceted. So for uh, women that want to check out the event, should they bring anything or, you know, should they bring writing or perhaps Actually, Yeah, they might want to bring a pen and a paper maybe to take some notes. Um, they definitely want to wear comfortable clothing because we'll be doing a move, Linda Frank will be doing a movement piece, so there'll be yoga and affirmation and meditation. Um, definitely bring uh, a friend, bring as many you know, women friends, doesn't matter the age. Uh, we're hoping to reach women of all ages and all backgrounds. Um, and just to kind of talk about the piece that's happening, um, you know, there will always be this opening ceremony where they'll involve a chanting, calling in our ancestors, a prayer. And then uh, this Saturday, we're going to have a lecture by Dr. Betty, F Dr. Betty Frayne, mm -hmm. and she's a family and marriage counselor. So she's going to talk about um, communicating uh, yeah. consciously, uh, communicating with compassion and empathy, but she's also going to kind of address how women can... Uh, s 
address and resolve anger in a very tender and, and loving way. Mm -hmm. um, and she's going to kind of talk on some nonviolent communication mm -hmm. principles. Mm -hmm. And then Linda Frank, who is a yoga instructor. We love Linda here. Yes, she's I, I excellent. think most people know her. She's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. She's going to lead the movement piece. So she's going to do yoga posturing. She's going to uh, have a little time to uh, do affirmations and meditation. Mm -hmm. How about for future events? Like if, if there are women out there watching this right now and they, they say, you know, I have something that I believe I can contribute or I can, uh, I've been to past events and I was mm -hmm. very moved by it. And I think, you know, with a, uh, with another new moon coming up and everything, there's something I would like to share. Uh, how can they get in touch with you guys? Um, well, um, we have a Facebook, Dinanya from so mm -hmm. if they can uh, look for us on there. And I think it has my contact um, and information. Yeah, contact information, excuse me. Very good. Okay, anything else that people uh, should know about this? So, like, is there any cost to attend, or like, what time should they yeah, show up there? you know, it's free, and again, it's going to be at Epal Beach Amphitheater on this Saturday from 3 to 5.30, and please just bring a friend. All right, excellent. Well, thank you so much, Yolanda. We truly appreciate it. Thank you, and thank you for having me again. All right, since it's Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Right. So, stay tuned, because we will be back right after this.